Hello grade 9 students! This is Teacher V and welcome back here on my channel. Itutuloy natin ang lesson about Law of Signs. This is part 2. At kung hindi mo pa napapanood ang part 1, itiwan ko sa baba nitong description box yung link. At bago tayo mag-start, syempre like mo muna ang video ni Teacher V, mag-iwan ng comment sa baba, at i-share sa mga kaklase mo para makatulong ka rin sa kanila. Now, pagtapos mo nang gawin yon, pwede na tayong mag-start. Una nating sagutan yung mga questions katulad dito. Halimbawa, you have to state the law of science. So, according sa law of science, it is the relationship between the sides and angles of non-right or oblique triangles. It states that the ratio of the length of a side of a triangle to the sine of the angle opposite that side is the same for all sides and angles in a given triangle. Or pwede natin pasimplehin gamit yung formula na to. Sine A over A is equal to sine B over B, then equal to sine C over C. At ipinakita or ipanilawanag ko na to sa inyo nung nauna kong video. Next question, in which cases can we use the law of signs? Hindi natin pwedeng laging gamitin yung ating law of signs. Pwede lang natin itong gamitin kung alam natin yung two angle measures and any side length or yung side angle-angle or angle-side-angle information. Pangalawa, pwede mo rin gamitin ang law of signs kung given yung two side lengths and the measure of an angle that is not between them or yung side-side angle information. Kapag ganyan yung nakita ninyo sa inyong oblique triangles, pwede natin gamitin ang law of signs. Now, can you cite real life application of law of signs? Describe how you can apply the law of signs in that situation. Give at least two situations. Of course, katulad ng mga napag-aralan natin about right triangles, na i-apply natin siya in real life, ganun ni daman dito sa law of signs. Halimbawa, ito yung situation. To determine the distance RS across a deep canyon, Peter lays off a distance TR is equal to 480 meters. Then he finds that angle T is 32 degrees and angle R is 102 degrees. Find the distance RS. Nakita ninyo yung ating problem or yung ating illustration? Pwede natin gamitin dito ang law of signs kasi may given na dalawang angle at yung kanyang included sign. Another example pa, a person has a kite out of 1,750 feet of a string at an angle of 75 degrees with ground. An observer notes that the angle formed by the kite and the flyer is 102 degrees. How far is the kite from the observer? So, ito yung ating illustration, ito yung nagpapalipad ng kite, ito yung isang observer, and yung kanyang string is 1,750. Okay, may dalawang angle na nabuo, yung 75 degrees and 102 degrees. So, makikita natin, meron tayong dalawang angle and another given na side. Kaya dito, pwede rin natin gamitin yung ating tinatawag na law of signs. Okay, so marami pang samples. In real life situation, yung law of science, so marami kayong pwedeng maisagot or maisip sa question na to. Okay, next, mag-solve naman tayo ng triangles. And ang answer natin, kailangan i-round off natin to the nearest tenth or big sabihin, one decimal place lang. Okay, given na yung dalawang angle natin, yung angle A, which is 50, and angle C, 35. Ang nawawala is yung side B, side A, and yung angle B. Okay, ito yung C natin or side C. 8 yung measurement niya. Una natin isolve is yung angle B. Mas madali na natin masusolve ang angle B kasi given na yung dalawang angle natin. Yung 50 and 35. Tandaan natin na sa triangle, ang total sum ng interior angles is palaging 180. Kaya para masolve tong angle B, i-add natin yung 50 and 35. Tapos ima-minus natin sa 180. 50 plus 35, so that is 85. Then, yung 85, minus natin sa 180. Ang sagot is 95. Ang angle B natin is 95. Next naman natin isolve is yung side A. Okay, itong side na to. At i-apply natin ang law of signs. Sine A over A is equal to sine C over C. Okay, ang angle A natin is 50. 
Then over A, unknown. Kaya A na lang muna ang ilagay natin. And then equal to sign, 35. Ito yung ating C, 35 yung angle niya. Over yung C natin na given, 8. Okay, then cross multiply lang. We have A times sign 50 is equal to sign 35 times A. We need to divide both sides to sign 35 kasi kailangan maiwan lang ang A dito dahil A ang hinahanap natin. At pagkatapos, pindutin na sa ating calculator yung 8. Tapos si times natin sa sign 50, then equals. Pagkatapos, divide natin sa sign 35. Ang lalabas na sagot dyan ay 10.7. So, one decimal place lang, kaya 10.7 na lang ang kunin natin. Ang A natin, or side A, is equal to 10.7. Isa na lang ang kulang, yung side B. Gagamitin pa rin natin ang law of sines. To solve for B, we have sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. So, sine A natin is sine 50, dahil ito yung ating angle. At nakuha na natin yung side A, which is 10.7. It's equal to sine B, ang angle B natin is 95 over yung B na unknown. Cross multiply, we have B times sine 50 is equal to sine 95 times 10.7. Divide natin both sides sa sine 50 dahil kailangan maiwan lang ang B. Pagkatapos, pwede na natin ulit kunin ang ating scientific calculator. Pindutin yung sine 95. Then times natin sa 10.7. Then i-divide natin sa sine 50. Ang lalabas na answer is 13.9. Ang ating side B is 13.9. So, nakompleto na natin yung ating triangle. Yung measurements niya, kompleto na. Okay. Next triangle naman tayo. May given na angle, dalawang angle dito. So, meaning to say, ito yung angle A, ito yung angle C. And kulang yung angle B. Okay, wala rin yung side C and side A. May given din na side dito or yung B, side B, that is 6. Kaya kailangan, katulad ng ginawa natin sa number 1 kanina na triangle, kunin muna natin yung angle natin na B. Kasi may given naman na dalawang angle. So, i-add lang natin to, then minus 180. So, 25 plus 135, that is 160. Then, subtract natin sa 180, we have 20. Ang angle B is 20. Next natin kukunin is yung ating A, yung side A. Gagamitin natin ang law of sine. Sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. Ang A natin is 25, o yung angle A is 25. Tapos unknown itong A, side A. So we have sine 25 over A, then is equal to yung B natin. Okay, yung B is 20, sine 20 over yung given natin na side Side B is 6. Then cross multiply lang ulit. We have 6 times sine 25 is equal to sine 20 times A. Divide natin both sides to sine 20 para makancel, maiwan ng A. And pindutin na ulit sa ating mahiwagang calculator ang 6 times sine 25 divided by sine 20. Ang lalabas din na answer is 7.4. Okay, ang ating A is 7.4. Next, ito na lang yung side C, yung kulang, so isolve na natin. And to solve for C, gamitin pa rin natin ang law of sines. So, sine B over B is equal to sine C over C. Ang sine B natin, or angle B, is 20 over yung 6, is equal to yung ating C, or angle C is 135 over yung unknown natin na side C. Then cross multiply lang, we have C times sine 20 is equal to sine 135 times natin sa 6. Divide natin both sides to sine 20. Ang reason, para ma-cancel yung sine 20, nakatabi ng C, maiwan lang mag-isa ang C. Dahil C ang hinahanap natin, di ba? Then, pwede na natin gamitin yung ating scientific calculator ulit at pindutin yung sine 135, then times natin sa 6. Then, divide sa sine 20. Anong lumabas sa calculator nyo? Okay, tignan nga natin kung tama yung sagot nyo. Let's see. 
The answer is 12.4. Ang side C is equal to 12.4. And kompleto na yung measurements ng ating triangle. Next, punta na tayo sa another triangle. May given na angle. Angle A is 65 and then merong dalawang sides na given. At kapag meron tayong given na acute angle, then may, merong dalawang sides, i-compare natin. Anong mas malaki yung 7 or 5? Okay, mas malaki ang 7, obviously. So, 7 is greater than 5. At kapag ang A natin is greater than or equal to P, or itong side na to ay mas malaki dito sa side na to, ang number of triangles na mabubuo ay isa lang. Okay? One, one triangle lang. Okay? So, tignan na natin yung triangle. Unahin natin munang isolve ang angle C. We have sine A over A is equal to sine C over C. Ang angle A natin 65 over yung 7 is equal to sine C unknown over 5. Okay, ito yung 5 natin or side C. Then cross multiply, we have 5 times sine 65 is equal to sine C times 7. Divide natin pareho sa 7. Ang reason para ma-cancel yung 7 na katabi ng sine C dahil lang hinahanap na natin is yung angle C. At maka-cancel na nga yung 7 here. At pwede na ngayon natin pindutin sa ating scientific calculator yung 5 times sine 65 over 7. Ang lalabas, 0 0.64, yun yung sine C. Pero, tandaan, kailangan natin kunin ang angle. At kapag kumukuha tayo ng angle, ipipress natin yung sine raised to negative 1 or yung arc sine. Or po pwede din sa inyong mga cellphone or calculator, pindutin nyo muna yung shift, tapos press yung sine or second function or second F, press sign sa inyong calculator para makuha nyo yung angles. Okay, at ipipress na natin. At ang lalabas ay... 40.3. Ang angle C is equal to 40.3. At dahil meron tayong dalawang angle, meron ng 65 and meron ng 40.3, madali na lang yung angle B. pag a natin yung dalawang angles na to at imaminus natin sa 180. We have 65 plus yung 40.3. The answer is 105.3. Then imaminus natin sa 180. Ang angle B natin ay 74.7. Okay. Isa na lang hindi pa natin nasa-solve at ayun yung side B. Okay. Para naman ma-solve, ang B, we have sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. Sine 65 over 7 is equal to sine 74.7. So yung B natin, na-complete na natin na 74.7 siya over B. Cross multiply, we have B times sine 65 is equal to Sine 74.7 times 7. Okay, then divide natin both sides sa sine 65 para makancel to dahil B ang kailangan nating masolve, di ba? Okay, now, pindutin na natin sa ating scientific calculator yung sine 74.7. Then i-times natin sa 7. Then divide sa sine 65. Ang lalabas na sagot is 7.4. Ang B natin is 7.4. Four. Para naman kung kayo yung magdodrawing ng triangles, then ibibigay lang yung measurement. Halimbawa, dito sa number 1, yung angle A is 68, tapos yung side A is 21, and side B is 12. Para natin yung drawing yung triangle na to. Okay, madali lang din naman, ito yung angle A natin, 68, yung side A, yung opposite side nitong angle na to, yun yung A. So, 21 is A. Then, yung opposite side ng angle na to or katapat na side, yun yung 12, yun yung B. And ito, ang opposite side niya or katapat niya na side is itong C. Ang hinahanap is yung angle B, yung side C, okay, and angle C. Sa pangalawa naman, given yung angle A, 32, then angle C, 40, yung side B is 15. So, para ma-illustrate yan, ito. Yung angle A is 32. Yung katapat niya na side is yun yung A natin, side A. Then, yung C, ito, 40. Given na rin yung 40. Ang katapat natin na side ng angle C is ito. Kaya, ito yung side C. And we have this one as B. Ito yung side B, 15. Given na siya. At ang angle, opposite dito, 
or katapat nito na angle is itong angle B. So, unknown siya. Yan. So, katulad lang din ang mga samples ko kanina sa mga triangles, ganun na ganun lang din ang gagawin ninyo. Okay. Kaya kayang-kaya niya na itong masagutan. Okay. Questions ka pa, huwag mahiyang magtanong kay Teacher B at mag-iwan ng comment sa baba nitong video. And that's it. Natapos na natin yung week 6. I hope na may natutunan ka sa video lesson ni Teacher B. Okay. Kung kalimutan na i-like and share to sa iba para dumami pa talaga ang mga students na nagpamahal at nagsisikap na pag-aralan ang mathematics. Okay, follow me on my Facebook page, VTeach Channel, at hanggang sa susunod na lasa natin. Bye-bye!